Hello everyone, it's Jaden back with another freaking video. Guys, so this is the flag. shower and I'm going to be doing this really really late trend turning myself into a Bratz doll let's just get right into the video okay so I'm going to first start off by moisturizing with my pure lease blue lotus daily moisturizer I have recently been using a lot of pure lease cosmetic products like literally my face wash my moisturizer my foundation is pure lease i just really have been loving the way my skin is reacting to their products i'm gonna make sure i'm all moisturized i don't want to be looking crazy i'm moisturizing my lips with this kula spf lip lux chapstick i'm going to show you guys the picture that i'm going to be recreating really quickly Let's see if i can find it i literally couldn't choose between so many i think i can manage that i think that i'm gonna do pretty good i have the dress that's like yeah, i have a purse and i have glasses that look just like that so i'm really excited i have all of my products laid out on my vanity and so yeah let's just get started i'm going to keep this picture just pulled up on my phone the first thing i'm going to start with obviously is eyebrows i'm going to be using this morphe brow pencil let's see what shade i'm using in the shade mocha so her eyebrows are real thin arched and faded in the front so i'm going to attempt to do that i kind of do that already but you know not always perfect eyebrows like to participate when they feel like it This brow pencil is literally only $5. So I just kind of started by like outlining my brow. They're kind of thick right now because, you know, quarantine probs. Um, I can't get my eyebrows done. <laughs> so I'm literally just going to repeat this step on my other eyebrow. All right, so now that they are filled in, you guys can see. Definitely going to have to clean these up a little bit. All right, so to conceal, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, and I saw this on TikTok. TikTok made me buy it. It is in the shade Light Sand, and I really don't like this color that I got, but it works really good for my brows, and it blends really nicely, so I'm going to be using that and a Morphe M224 flat brush to conceal the brows. Gotta make sure they're real fleeky. I know I'm not the only one who hates doing eyebrows. Both brows are done. Next step is the face, but I have to wet my beauty blender real quick. I'm going to be using this Pure Lease Perfect Low BB Cream in the shade Medium and the shade Medium Tan because I'm kind of in between right now. But I really, really like the way this BB Cream looks on my skin. Like, it's very full coverage. A little bit of dark in there. Sealer brush. Mix it up place on my face we want it to be real full coverage today i'll probably apply a little bit more than i normally do compared to like an everyday face it blends so nicely and i think i really like this color match this color is looking real good i did get a little bit of a tan recently so i need something a little bit darker than the norm and take a little some more on because it is a bb cream so now you have a full coverage face and you can see like i'm still a little dewy but it's not too dewy it's nice full coverage okay next i'm going to be using my ColourPop pretty fresh concealer put this under my eyes we want to good amount just because i'm gonna call her jade jade is snatched all right so we want to make sure we are snatched with her i'm just gonna take the beauty blender obviously and just blend away you see that under eye 
Mm -hmm. I'm becoming jade already. So everything is starting to melt and come together. I have a little bit of concealer on my eyelids. I have lash extensions, so the eye makeup portion of this is going to be interesting. Next, I'm going to be using my airspun powder, the holy grail. Okay. Work your way up. I want to be creasing. I think one of my brows is a little more arched than the other. Now I'm just using this Maybelline Superstay Compact Powder to just put all over my face now that I've set everything. This is gonna kinda help set it more, that way when I bronze and put on blush, nothing moves. For the bronzer that I'm gonna be using, it's the Lip Bar Bronzer in the shade Girl Talk. And I'm gonna be using this cute little brush just to bronze my cheeks. So I'm about to look at the picture again. I don't think she was too bronzy, honestly. Oh, maybe she was. Okay, she was bronzy and she had blush on. Definitely gotta contour this nose a little bit because I know her nose is 10 times smaller than mine. I just contoured the bridge of it a little bit. Bring that nose in, baby girl, baby girl. All right, and then for my blush, there is a blush inside of this. It's a duo, and the blush is shade Champagne. And I use a little beauty blender, and I pat it onto my cheeks. She was looking a little blushy. Cute. And then I do like to take some more setting powder and then put it underneath my bronze and blush just to kind of sharpen that up some. And we're gonna let that sit. And then while that sits, I'm going to highlight using my Benefit Cookie Highlighter. She didn't have too much highlight on her cheeks, but she did have it under her brow bone. So I'm going to take a little brush. This is the Morphe M321 and highlight my brow bone. All right, now this is gonna be the tough part. The eyeshadow, because I can do eyeshadow, but I rarely do it. Gotta fix the lashes. All right, let's look. So it looks like she had a little bit of brown up there, and then she did like a line, like a cut crease with yellow. This is gonna be interesting. So I have these brushes. I don't know what brand they are. This looks like a crease brush. And it was like a brownish. We're gonna start with like a light color. I'll use my Morphe M330. And I'm gonna take that. This is the James Charles palette. It's the mini. I'm gonna take that and just kinda put it on a little in the crease just to get a little color on there. All right, I'm gonna take this other brush. I also have the Morphe, what is this, Copper Spice palette. And this is just like brown, so I'm actually gonna use that and see what I can do. Just darken that outer corner up a tad. And I think I gotta keep going darker. I'm gonna use this one that I use for the brow bone in a real dark color in the James Charles palette. This one right here. I'm gonna take this little blending brush. Take a little bit of concealer on this and attempt to do a cut crease. Oh, I didn't do a very good job. But what I'm gonna do is take this blending brush, smooth that back out. The reason I did that kind of cut crease because she had like a little yellow eye. So I gotta take some yellow. I'm gonna take some yellow, this little flat brush. I'm going to pack it 
Oh my eye. I don't know if you guys can see this on my eyelid and then there's like a dark little corner something I did notice she kind of lined it with like a really dark color so I'm gonna try and do that so we got a little cat eye going on this is crazy I just want you guys to know that looking pretty decent okay i think i did pretty freaking good for my first ever real 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 eyeshadow I'm gonna take some highlighter uh, highlight my inner corner i'm going to take this tarte mascara And now I'm going to do the other one and I will be back. All right, so this is what my finished eye look is. Like I said, I'm not a pro, but I think I nailed it. So the next step is going to be the liner and the lip gloss. So I have this lip bar lip liner and it's in the shade No Chaser. The long guys only ever want to do the damn yard whenever I'm trying to film a video. Try and blend that a little. Pretty spot on, okay. Now I'm just gonna take this pure gloss and it is like a pinky color. Adding a few more pinks, so we're gonna use this Too Faced Melted. Oh, she is popping. Okay, who's on me to snap like this? I'm looking pretty dang good, I think. Now it's just time to do my hair. I literally just have to straighten it and then wear it on a side part like this. So let me go get this straight. I have this heat protectant, it's Foxy Bay. Just start straightening, I guess. I don't know if I like this lip color. I'm just gonna put on this lip gloss. So I'm not going to bore you guys with straightening the rest of my hair. So when I come back, I will be dressed and ready to go. Bam, I know y'all see this. I literally look just like it and this dress was a pain in my ass. You ready? Woo. Boy, when I tell you this was so hard and I'm by myself, I think I nailed it though. So this dress that I'm wearing is from Fashion Nova. I got it a really long time ago and it's like a latex leather kind of material. And this purse is from Teddy Blake. And these glasses are from some random store in my mall. Yeah, I think I freaking killed this. Let me know what you guys think. I definitely feel like a real life Brad star right now. The transformation is crazy. <laughs> little bag is so perfect. I literally have this stuff to a T. And I just use a little bit of hairspray to part my hair and slick it down some. I want to know what you guys think. I feel like I genuinely did so good. And this was really fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And it was a good little distraction from society, you know. So thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. Be sure to give this video a big Brad's thumbs up. Subscribe, turn on my post notifications. Head over to my Instagram for the full look. I love you guys so much and stay fabulous. Bye.